Say hola. In the clutch, I be, I be in the clutch. Hola, hola. Oh, sorry. Folks, yes, we're back, yes, gentlemen, man. Episode sixty-one in the building. 61. Got the homie Steve back, man. He's you back. Know what I'm saying? He's back, back. Back in the building. Like yep. you never left. Just want to start this part off by saying Ross is the bougiest man. Nope, and it's good. We, we are three seconds in. I like, how, oh, as well, I like how the bougie guys yeah. just argue with each other. Oh, podcast. Man. It's, it's definitely good, ladies him, and gentlemen. The bougie, bougie debate boys. is live in the, in, in the fix. Steve, I'm, I'm gonna let you judge. <laughs> no, it's it's definitely him. I'm gonna let Brandon go and say it. Nah, bro, because they're biased, man. Nah. I'm not biased. Boo. Come on, he's yeah. not. He's not. Right. Cause yeah. you know, for the longest, I was like, man, I don't. Uh, Warren might have, you know. See, okay, touche, touche, touche. Nah, bro, I go on, for Brandy. the most logic, yeah, buddy. Come on, perspective. Brandy. Yeah, buddy. Let's break this down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. bro. That... Ask your question. Ask your question to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. What's the question? Or he's supposed no, to ask No, you. Was, you said you was. Supposed I said to I wanted him to. Oh, okay, okay. Be the one to uh, speak on. Who you feel is more bougie now? Definitely Ross. Just, no, don't say nothing. You talking about let, right now? Let 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 them speak for themselves. <laughs> okay, you go first, Uncle B. You go you go first, man. Ross, right now you are the reigning champ, bro. Thank you. I, I, I can't explain. I need to no, just bro, explain. Yo. Explain. Okay, all you got to do is say what he told us about his reason. Yes. For his purchase, Steve. What? Listen to this, because you don't know this part. You want to tell the people exactly how we were talking about you know we feel like right. show I guess thing, so. let's hear it I guess you might I as well will, you gonna post a picture yeah. if I'm you not, already. I, nah I didn't plan on actually yeah. no I actually top. I didn't plan on be on the top with the cool grades I see what you're doing <laughs> There you go. Bam. Man. He's saving it. He's saving yep. it for his vlog. His vlog video. Oh, I got him. He's saving it for, my vlog saving it for video, the bro. vlog video. Okay, my bad. So, anywho, you want to delete that part out? No, you can. It's okay, cool. It's cool. So, so was that uh, the plan, though? <laughs> no, it's not, bro. But you that sounds it, like a good idea. Right? Yeah, <laughs> He's like, but I think I might do it. I think I might do it because it does. All right. So basically, what happened? We was talking last night. About Dub getting a nice new vehicle, and I was like, "All right, cool, <laughs> family, that, a family car." And that was dope. Thank you. Granted, it, it's it's a nice family. It's a family car. car. It's a it's a family car that you didn't have to get that latest version, and you waited. You had it to family get car. shipped to you. It's only a family car oh when you have God. a family. Other than that, it's a celebrity car. Yeah, yeah. on a cool. Uh, technically, it's like and a presidential car. Yeah, one of the vehicles a celebrity that you, family car. You see, like celebrities, they travel in low <laughs> key. You know what I'm saying. So okay. we was talking about that last night, you know, you know, what we trying to get in the Become future. Truth, right. mm-hmm. right. So I go to bed and I have this vivid so dream. So you just got bro. it today. Yeah, just today. Right, <laughs> well, okay. no, 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 no. Don't do that. Him. Don't do him. that. We're adding points. No, him. don't do No, we're not, bro. <laughs> come on. No, so, Steve, listen. Go so ahead. this is where the majority of points come from. I had a dream. The car dealership putting the file numbers in right now still before you clock out. I so, I had a dream. You hear that? That this was I traded in my car to get the car that I originally wanted when I first got my my Mercedes. When did, you, and when, did you, when did you get your Mercedes? I'm gonna call you Martin Luther King. I got my Mercedes in July. I want to say it was like probably July. Okay. So okay. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, cool. And it was it was you know sometimes I usually have Wait, multiple you sure it dreams. Was July? I swear, I, I, see, I thought it was sooner. It felt. But I mean, I don't no, it was time July. is flying by. So it was so before my birthday, roughly around the three month mark. Okay. Yeah, it was before my okay, birthday. Yeah, so, yeah. so barely ninety days, right? It's more than nine days. So gotcha. um, <laughs> I was like, okay. Usually I have multiple dreams, but it, it, it the entire <clears throat> time it was just that one specific dream of me trading in my car to get the car I wanted. Hmm. So I woke up and I was like, bro, is that real? And then, you know, I woke back to reality and I was like, you know what? Let me see if I can actually do it. So I called the person that hooked me up with the vehicle originally. Hmm. He's like, yo, I can come in. We can see what we can do. Get hmm. it appraised. And they got it appraised, and they was like, yo, we can go ahead and swap yeah. you out. And I ended up getting the car I originally wanted a few months back. The car I've been searching for months. For, I want to say probably early early May don't, all don't, the way don't, now. Don't add sentimental to you. No, di- no, but that's the thing. I had been searching for it. So long I, story short, you had a dream. Yes, I had a dream, gotcha. and I, I just mean, traded it in. Gotcha. It'd be different if I was like, oh, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? Up and bought it. That's yeah, a new car. that's... that's yeah. I can understand you can give me but a number But do you one. still have the challenge is my question. There's still a flex. No. Okay. No, he traded it in. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah, no. So, Let's say I'm, trying to, I'm trying to level this out. So, okay, here we go. In the end, I traded my vehicle I traded in, in to okay. get a class up. Go ahead, finish. That's it. Gotcha. That's what you did. Yes, I just traded right. to get a class up. Wait, let me add my point real quick before you judge me. Okay. See, I traded in yeah. my car yeah. 
to give my wife the car that she wants. Which is admirable. Okay. So that doesn't make you bougie on that point. On that particular point. Why would I be bougie at all? Uh, uh, Don't do that. Because when I'm in, when I'm driving the car that I'm like, okay, if I'm going to have the family car because I'm the one that's, you know, Mm -hmm. maneuvering around with the kids and, you know, I'm thinking sports, I'm thinking in the future. Mm -hmm. I'm going to want a car that's going to be reliable. Yes. Safe. Yes. Good protection. Yes. And it's going to be up hand up. Holds its value in the future. Yes. And I was like, you know what? I want to like what I'm into. Okay. There we go. It's the liking part that's getting and me. And it took a couple weeks. It's the liking part that's getting me. About two and a half weeks or something. Two and a half. Three, and, you know, you did have a ship to you. I didn't have my ship to me. Well, so you know, there I is a go. shortage on vehicles. So it wasn't This is just... true because they didn't have as many of the models that I wanted. Oh. They didn't. Oh. Because there's a shortage okay. on vehicles, like you said, oh. which is why the value of our car was as high as it was for only having it for a few months and mm. only have like a few thousand miles on it. Mm. But that's not a flex because that's all I did was had a dream. trade it in. No, let's not do it, that. It started with a dream though, right? It did start with, with a dream. dream. Man. I rest my case, Your Honor. So that makes it a flex because I dreamed about it. I'm not saying, all I'm right. not the one here to all right, Steve, what's, what's, what's your verdict? Because he's already throwing You dreaming the about it definitely does add points because Wait. hear me out, hear me out. You know that, Ross. It does because People have dreams all the time, but they okay. can't always achieve those dreams yeah. immediately. But that's yeah. not. You immediately was like, yep. You that's, know what I'm saying? Let's do this. You know, you flex the good credit. You know what I'm saying? You flex <laughs> you did. You flex hey, the trade. Yeah, hey. no. These are these are immediate flexes that you did. Don't get me wrong. These are flexes. <laughs> and that's 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 kind of a bougie flex. <laughs> just accept a lot of, it. A lot of I think that will make it less bougie if you were playing this. Like if you, you would, yeah, I didn't it, hear nothing about that. Like I hear, you know, I, me there, too. There was, no plan. You know, there, there was no plan. There was no planning, and that's Bro, what I kid makes you not, it more bougie. When he pulled up, I thought it was Steve, and when Warren o- Dub opened the door, I'm like, oh hold on, man, I think Steve coming because I know yeah, you got like a silver, a silver car, yeah, yeah. Great. car. And then I guess it wasn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, like, he called, we got a phone call because we didn't see the type of car it was. Yeah. He called me. He was like, hey, I'm in the middle of eating my salad. You know, trying to eat healthy. You know, drinking water. Um, and he's like, hey, come outside real quick. I was like, man, Steve. Oh, outside. and then he called you outside. Oh, I was like, it's Steve outside. Like, I, <laughs> I didn't know it was no. Therefore, outside. we had don't no do idea that. that Ross was gonna do this. Like, don't do that, bro. Don't, don't. don't. <laughs> okay, I'm not done yet. All right, <laughs> now <laughs> you got to think about what Dub did. Dub recently just got this Mercedes Benz for his wife. Which, okay, you know, that's a that's nice admirable. Flex. Yeah, right. it's admirable. It's also a bougie flex. It is. You, st- you also upgraded to a Benz. First off, yeah. I mean, Second off, mm-hmm. you went and was like. I, I'm gonna do one better. Let me go ahead and grab a suburb or what a Tahoe. What you got? Something like that. You can't. You don't even want to say the name. <laughs> see, see. We all and he know. went and got another vehicle, <laughs> along with the the mortgage he's already paying. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you got to think about it. This is stack on, ta- on stack on stack, and then he got the the presidential like. Mm. He, he decided not no. to go black so he wouldn't mm. look too you know celebrity. No, that's yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. so that, nice. that was a natural You're celebrity. Nice. Yeah. Flex right there. That was a let me be different. His doors Flex have projectors right on it. Oh, yours yeah. do too. No, they don't. I have to go to Amazon to get mine. I install mine to myself. Don't tell <laughs> Which <laughs> drops me down you, on the bougie price. Well, not really. The fact that, that you wanted them and you it does. Get them. I'm installing it myself. Don't your whole car illuminates itself on the inside? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Look, whoa, look how much he be jerking. Whoa, we well, not jerking doing that. Chair. So, what's more, what's more dope? The the illuminating emblem all around the vehicle or the ambient lighting? Which inside? one costs more to do? Which one costs more to do? Mm-hmm. Don't do that. I don't do that. I'm just that was a simple question. Oh my god, your honors. Can I ask? Let Let me continue. I, yeah, let, let me. <laughs> all right, all right. So. Mm-hmm. I've, been, I've been thinking about this one for a while for the bougie boys. You both are bougie. Oh, so wow. okay. with that being bougie, said, though, mm-hmm. you got to think about the things that Dub already has. And yeah. He's stacking on top of those. Things, yes, he is stacking said things, which which Intel, which 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 not entails, but overall makes him by default kind of the more bougie default. Okay. <laughs> he kind of has to be the more bougie one because he's doing We're defaulting this with here a now. full family. He's not a single guy doing <laughs> nope. these things. Nope. Right. Nope. This is not, you know, if I'm single, I could do some of this stuff. I could probably go and get my bins right now Thank if you. I was single right Thank now. You. I could probably do that. It would be a bougie flex, but it wouldn't be to the degree that Dub is doing it cuz Dub has a whole family to yep. feed, a wife to feed. Yep. While he's flexing. Yep. You got to think about these Take things. Take care of the family. Yeah. Was, the, was the previous vehicle you had, was it smaller than the than the one you have now? Is it, is yeah, it was. 
Okay, so that's another. See, because I'm looking at this as a family. <laughs> so, say, hold so technically, Brandon, my attorney, Steve, it's your a family, attorney. bro. Brandon, say hold up. And then, okay, you know, like you know, once again, I ain't, I ain't biased on nobody. I I'm just go either. with my logic, go ahead, go ahead. perspective. I'm talk with your, you. Talk your talk, King. <laughs> with the King crowd. Dubs, this was in the making. Like even even when Nisha got her previous vehicle, mm-hmm. it was like, okay, I could get it, but now I'm not. I'm not. I could. I'm not. I could. I'm not. And then he ended up, he, he, he yeah. got it, okay. Yeah. You know? Once again, Ross had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> and he traded in a vehicle he just got like three months ago. <laughs> like, aren't most Visions dreams? And I'm like, okay. Mm, you uh, have something, ain't that logo Visions over dreams, right? Which you should be the president of now. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. He's but, the president. I mean, he's the CEO. Visions well, I mean, over you, dreams. You damn dad. Yeah, and I turned shit, that though. dream into something reality. I turned it into reality. Bro, that, and that, that's So that's you also got to think about it. Can we Dub, not point out, can I point out a couple things before oh, we... Right. Yeah, well, last can, one. Go ahead. Dub is kind of like the, the, the spearhead of the channel at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. So right. he kind of put these visions, these bougie dreams, into the rest of his team. Mm. I rest you gotta think my about case. It. <laughs> I rest my case. Not the bougie part. Not yes, the, I, I put, do. I put the help rest of change. change. I put change out there. I bougie change. change eventually. Depending on how you took it. <laughs> right. Ross right. took so it another way. So Ross is very easily influenced there. <laughs> so, bam. What? <laughs> I want to add. I want to regardless. Add another, by the way, King point. himself, he's easily influenced. I mean, bro, he had a dream. I bro, wanna, how, can I add you another point? We were on the phone last night, yes, bro. I, and, and he didn't say nothing about a new car. Like, can I add I another point? About it. I wasn't. Add, can we yeah, add, yeah, can yeah, I right. add a point? <laughs> nigga, that's some balling ass bougie shit. No, I'm sorry, no, folks. I just want to. I just want to add some points. Rebuttaling Steve just a little bit, just oh. a smidgen. Okay. Notice when I turned up on buying things. Mm-hmm. I had bought a house, it, that's, built that's, the foundation, foundation, and all that. Mm-hmm. How bougie do you know you gotta be? You gotta bend before you even. So even when he get into that area, you know that debt to income ratio gonna be real sweet. So mm-hmm. that's let you know he the king of bougie. How well? I would say My his bougieness right wasn't now. as calculated Lord. as your bougieness. Mm-hmm. Also, what the, I mean, I wait, don't what, feel what, like what bougieness defaulting? necessarily has a time frame. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I, I feel like there can be, I guess, a time frame. It, 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 it adds points to but it. But your calculation mixed with the amount Come on, attorney. at one time made it more bougie for me. Mm. And Mm. And you know what I've been riding in for a very long time. Very My thankful. guy was in a same ninety nine Honda Accord, ninety eight Honda Accord. That 98. was and, and the I black beans counted for all that, all the the misery driving. I'm like, okay, that yeah, was gifted. Though. You had a dream, so you know yeah, what? I want gifted. another. I want another. It one. was gifted within a three month span, ladies. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, hey. I can go back to the beginning, Ross. <laughs> I'm just saying, you're, bro. You're 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 you're, uh, you're an only child. You know, see my thing. Okay, it starts in the right beginning. now. Dub is like when <laughs> it starts in the beginning. Dub is God when, damn it! Look, Dub is when Krillin got killed on Planet Namek. Oh my which god! Which made turn <laughs> Super Saiyan. Ross is like Kid Trunks and Goten. They just, I don't know. They just turned Super Saiyan because of you know. I don't no, know. bro. It's just and, you know. It's just <laughs> I had to work to get to this. No, point. you, you work. Yeah. That's what's up. You I work can, to get I it, can, but. I can I can get you where you're to get going the previous with that one. because we can kind of you know intertwine privileged with bougie, but black privilege. <laughs> but we all have some privilege in there, you mm-hmm. know. We right. all have a little privilege, so we can use that and you know add that to his bougieness in a way. We can for sure. <laughs> we can. But again, no, you got to think about the, the amount noise. of money that has to be spent while you have a family and wife. Like mm-hmm. this is not. But we don't think cheap. about the amount saved. Uh, hey, mm-hmm. and credit. Right? Hey, mm-hmm. and you credit. gotta save yeah. to become bougie. There you though. go. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm still working. Still working. Mm. <laughs> Same here. You are indeed. That's a uh, white man's job. Regar- <laughs> That's my choice. <laughs> but I am still. I see podcasts not discriminating. I, I, I should give points. I should points deducted for still <laughs> clocking Bruh. in to oh. a nine to five. Hold on, look, 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 bro. Here's my thing, dog. You can lose some points for that. You can lose some points. <laughs> no, he can't. If Dub had a dream and <laughs> said, you know what, I'm going to get some new shit. 
I would cry on him, bro. That's some you were the king of bougie. But that's now, bro. the he thing. Would. He does have dreams, and he do get them. He, don't, he, he don't, just get them months hey, I, later. I, nah, I know he don't do it on. He don't do it right then. Glad there. you just said that. He thinks. What? He just doesn't get them on I'm glad you said that. Yeah, you kind of. Yeah, you you made them look better. I'm usually saving family, so you can't automatically do that. But you still a bougie because the fact that you still want to, and you still end up getting it. I don't know, man. That, I, I will say this: okay. we're not gonna we're not gonna come to an no. agreement. We're, we're not, not gonna. But I look, think I'll it's say tough this: to do this because I'll he doesn't this. have kids to worry about to do that, which is an even bigger flex. He can't be. What? How is that a bigger flex? Oh, my man wants okay, kids. Okay, hold on. He knows you want kids, don't you? I do. Did want you, kids. Have, did you have to put any money down for this new one? No, I just traded it. So if you had a kid, you would have still done it. Oh no! Well. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't know because he's never had a kid. We'll be right Brandon. back to after these messages. I mean, if I didn't have to pay <laughs> nothing, then sure. Brandon, yeah. he doesn't know because nah, he he's paused never for a couple had of things. He had to pay for nothing. Sure. Wouldn't you have thought? Would you have bought those new shoes if you had a kid? Bro, the five hundred something dollars you spent the other what? Bro, hold on, hold on. This would you? Shoes, would like you that. or would you not? Uh-oh. Oh, I was thinking. Not a lawyer is going at it. Hey, this ain't on me. You sit there exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you don't got nothing to do with me. No, that's a question though, because yeah. you don't have a kid, so you can't properly answer that question. Trust right. me, he I th- can. I can. I think. I think anything. If I'm about to make a hundred dollars, I'm like, shit. Okay, who about to ask me for extra? I'm shit? the same if I, way. If I make a transaction, so kid or no kid, you know, my pockets are already. I'm somebody. I was gonna be. My I'm pockets. the same way to a degree. Yeah, I don't think. Right. I think because like that. I definitely changed. Oh, I know you think like that. I still will do some stuff like you've been around ah, me. Like it, I'll be before all right. I had a kid. We'll be all right. But we're all back, right. and um, more story. I got a new verdict. <laughs> My guy Ross has definitely lost this shit. Wow. Bam! There you go. Wow, bro. You I will you, say you, should, you shouldn't feel bad, bro. I, that's I, some ball ass shit. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I will say this. And all jokes aside, because you know we all joking here. Man. Yeah, I don't, yeah, don't yeah. think we really mad. But then, yeah. like, it's a blessing. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's something that we want to thank God for. Because without yeah. God, we're not here. So Facts. we can joke like this because we've seen each other in our own worst mm-hmm. before. You know what I'm saying? And we've seen sure. our, ourselves kind of get to where we're trying to go because it's just the beginning. Don't think we where we started. are now is just what it is. Don't think it ends with YouTube. Oh, yeah. we're, we're thinking outside of YouTube. We're just using YouTube for its platform. And and we want to stay consistent with it for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Y'all have helped us, you know, grow. Um, obtain things in life and it's like a relationship you know like people hit us up on the daily like man hey, you don't know how much watching y'all to save my life you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying like exactly, we man. don't take messages like that for granted I damn near got a photoshop memory of everybody who's ever said that to us you know mm-hmm. and it's like where we are now is because yeah. God allowed it he saw us working we didn't just ask for some shit and poof yep. we bust our ass for it we didn't steal from nobody we didn't sell no, no drugs nope we just worked hard, bust really? our ass, made a plan. Mm-hmm. And y'all don't understand. People don't understand. And this this is something that I do want to say because I hope friends are watching. Niggas think you get stuff just by sitting your behind down and it just falling in your lap. People don't realize how much we record. People don't realize work. how much we edit. Mm-hmm. People don't realize how much we have to be standing at our computer I'm a living screen. testament. Prior to me leaving, I didn't edit and I didn't get shit. So there you go. Now that I'm back, you know, I'm editing. So I got on my ass and... Bam, I'm weeping the rewards. I just had to put my own. No, nah, I get you. I mean, you know, yeah. just, you know. Brandon is a special case. We're still yeah, working exactly. on him. So, you know, we're still working bam. with him. But, nah, I mean, <laughs> all, you know, but for real, though, like, people feel like we just get where we are just out of nowhere. But, man, you don't exactly. realize, like, when I was, you know, starting this out and investing money that I didn't have, like I said, in the, the This man did not sleep, the theme, man. Like, I barely slept, bro, like, because I had two kids at the time. And I had to wake up 5, 6 in the morning. Right. Go take the kids, you know, to grandma so that way she can watch them. You know, after editing all night and trying to figure out how to work Premiere Pro, figure out what computer to buy because you don't want to spend a thousand dollars that you don't have on a computer that you know is going to be useless. So yep. it's, it's just a lot, man, mm-hmm. that, that came with it. And you know, I just mentally had to get to a point. And I'm gonna speak for myself because I want everybody to kind of, I want everybody to get a piece on this type of stuff. But I mentally had to say, you know what? <clears throat> Enjoy yourself. Because I always looked at it as like work, 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 save, save, save. Mm -hmm. But if I'm always working and saving, if I'm gone, what's going to happen? I mean, I just wouldn't have enjoyed or wouldn't have, like, what happens? I don't get to redo and come back and be like, oh, okay, now I want to get this car. Now I want to. I mean, even buying things, even buying the car that I just got now, I asked my wife, I was sitting there like, you sure? You sure I should? I don't want to take too much. You know, like, that's just me Mm -hmm. because I'm so used to not having that Mm -hmm. when I 
bust my ass to get it, I still think like, yeah. nah, you need to keep it, you need to save because you never know. But it's like it's just me slowly breaking them chains of mm-hmm. you know how we grew up and as mm-hmm. wanting to, you know, when you want something, I feel like. If you bust your ass for getting something, or if you bust your ass, period, when you want something, I feel like you deserve to go get it. Yep. Agree. And that's Thanks. the that's the mentality that I'm shaping myself into because for so long I've I've put myself on the back burner of like, nah, just wait. Mm-hmm. No, don't do that. Even with the money, I'll be like, nah, I'll wait. And then you never know what'll happen, man. It, it, you might not get another chance to do that same thing. So a, out of jokes for this, is is really just mm-hmm. you know, you can almost cry on the inside because you didn't. Real. You, you really wanted this Facts. for everybody, and that's the vision I had. Was like, I want us to be able to take care of not only ourselves but our families. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I want us to be able to change. And now we even having talks with doing things that even better potentials for what we have. And it's just nice. being in those conversations is is really mind blowing. So it really is. I just I have to, even though we joking, I have to give y'all the reality. Right. How we in dreams, not only us, but how we really think. <laughs> this nigga's stupid. Oh, so I had <laughs> go ahead, since you talking, go ahead. Do, no, I, I want your piece. I want your piece. No, nigga. I go agree ahead. with everything you do say. Like I said, we're like joking about, about this. It is funny as hell, still. Like, I mean, <laughs> hey, of course, it's bougie, but hey, you got it. You got it. So that's it could be motivation too at the same time. But Facts. like I said, I mean, everybody was in different positions, bro, yep. a few years back. So, I mean, it's, it really is a blessing. Like I said, I know we're joking, but, I mean, hey, God, it's showing me we still humble fellas. Yeah. And so you just got to treat yourself from time to time, man. And, you know, don't don't overdo it because, Lord, you know, give it. Lord, take it away. Facts. So Facts. you got to gotta forever stay humble. Indeed. So, yeah, that's, that's true. That's pretty much, you know, where where I looked at it. And it's like I said, yeah, it's it's funny to some to yeah. I dream about it and then it happens. I'm calling you MLK from now on. Oh, I just want you to know that. We're not doing that. I had a dream. Yeah. Yeah. We're not doing that. But it's the simple fact that that was so passionate to me to the point where it's like I'm going to see if I can get this done. And I've never in my life imagined me being in a situation where I can say I got a nice car upgraded from the car that I got and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. But then I got the car I really wanted. Mm. It's the same year. Mm. And it's one of those things where it's like, for me, even when the process was happening, I'm still not really taking, like, believing this is happening right now because I know where I came from. I know mm-hmm. where, you know, all the the, the working, working at Amazon, you know what I'm saying? And I didn't want to be there, working those dead-end <laughs> jobs, and I didn't want to be there. Right. And to now be in a situation where I was able to do that, and financially be able to do that because I always wanted to be able to make moves like that. Mm-hmm. So when it, it's actually happening, I'm just like, yo, I still can't believe it. But, you know, one of the first things I did as soon as I got in, I thank you to Heavenly Father, bro, because this is something I know for a fact. I, I don't want to count this as just random luck. Like there has to be something divine that, you know, has oh, yeah. brought me to this situation. You Thanks. know what I'm saying? So if anything... I'm 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 not trying to be on no flexing type stuff. It's cool to you know talk your talk your ish every now and then, but for me, it's more of like this is what I worked for. Mm-hmm. I finally got something that I, you know I, I wanted the last car, but I got what I truly wanted, right. and it's one of those things where I'm very thankful and, and blessed for. It. And hopefully, we we continue to inspire other people to strive for what you for what you want. If mm-hmm. you work for it, if you put in the time, you put in that grind, go get it. Because at the end of the day, like you were saying, we can't take it with us. You know what I'm saying? This is all material stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at the end of the day, we, we die like the next man. So make sure, you know what I'm saying, you living your life to the fullest the best way you can. Responsibly. Not overdoing it and <laughs> putting yourself in debt. Not yolo in it. But, so, yeah, no, just no, making no, sure that you, that. you no. live comfort, comfortable for the way you want to live. And like you were saying, we just getting started, bro. Like yes, it's, it's, this is just yeah. the tip of the iceberg, iceberg for us. So. Oh, yeah. This um, I um, want to say I'm very thankful for meeting these guys, mm-hmm. first and foremost, because um, it was cool to meet other people that had a like-minded vision and like thought processes, like our hustle, like I had mm-hmm. when it came to like making videos in general or um, uh, me even starting up my videography company to begin with, like, SDJ Productions. Hey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cops and um, merch. <laughs> See it? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Soon. But, um, oh, I thought you did because you were having, like, oh, she got some merch. Nah, I got oh. it on right now because my wife made it. She 
Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Hooked me up, but um, that's what's up. Man. just starting my own, you know, videography company and shooting videos and actually getting paid by like an actual juicing company and companies yeah. to to pay me for stuff that I just enjoyed doing was mm-hmm. really dope mm-hmm. to me. And um, now I'm kind of like, I guess, not as going crazy on the videography and trying to like, you know, like he said, bring the fun into things. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm kind of like, I'm doing my videography, of course, but I'm, I wanted, wanted to focus more on like my YouTube side and uh, push that now. And so now I'm like branching um, over to the YouTube side of my videography. And uh, I'm about to actually start pushing that like crazy. Hey, um, that's what's up. SCJ Productions. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I forgot what I was about to say, but <laughs> YouTube. Uh, but you yeah, pushing I, your stuff on the YouTube. I side. was basically about to just you know go harder on that, and uh, because I realized when I focus on one thing, I I go crazy on it, and I typically get to where I'm wanting to go. Like when I started with videography, it was just for fun, and mm-hmm. then people start contacting me and trying to pay me for stuff. So now I get contacted, emails, calls, all this stuff to shoot videos for people, and so. With YouTube, I'm like, shoot, maybe I could do it with my actual YouTube itself, you know, not just be in other people's stuff or mm-hmm. my other homies or right. all all my friends that have YouTubes that are doing pretty good or whatever. Not just being there is like actually do my own thing. So I was like, let me just go hard on that. So mm-hmm. and I'm like, shit, I did it with the videography itself, so I know I could do it with YouTube. So it was For just sure. you know dope. Yeah. Everybody putting plans and you know. <laughs> Uh, out there and, and going to reach them, you know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, man, again, in order to attain things in life, man, it's going to take a lot of faith and a lot of work. Yeah. You know, it's faith without work is absolutely dead. Mm-hmm. And you got to work in order to get to where you want to. Yep. Yes, right? sir. So, yeah. Yes. Um, but else, all said and done, I keep it consistent, though. Because mm-hmm. I was laughing when you were screwdriver in the car, and then I'm also <laughs> laughing when you, man. you know, randomly I'm, having dreams. He does keep it consistent. Goes, yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the end, because I always used to tell you, be mindful of the people that'll laugh at you when you're down yep. and then mm-hmm. have a frown when you start doing well. Mm-hmm. I always told Ross that I'm like, bro, just be, just look at people and just watch their mannerisms. Like, because, yeah. you know, it's truth in a lot of jokes. Yeah. And a lot of people will say certain things and they'll really have an underlying meaning. Like, oh, this nigga, mm-hmm. oh, that's this. But the, but the but the but the ties are two thousand. Yeah. Like people yeah, are gonna but them always ties find, ain't really all that fire. Yeah, yeah. they are gonna always find something just, hating. just because they're not in that situation. <laughs> but Raps. me, I always like to see you winning. Like it's mm-hmm. it's generally a good feeling to see people win. When I see people Bitch. closing on houses or mm-hmm. anything, like it's it's almost as if I did it. You know yep. what I'm saying? And that's yep. the kind of the yep. kind of heart that I've always had. And I know that's the same thing with all of us. And mm-hmm. but you do have a lot of people out there who your closest friends are really envious of the moves you make and they just, you know, they clap real slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, <laughs> in the back. But when you're struggling, oh, oh man, it's going to be all right. Hey, man, I'm praying for you. God got you. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a, conversations are endless. I had a conversation like that with a buddy of mine on Xbox that I got really cool with. Like, we've been gaming together since, like, 2013. That's how you build them dope relationships. And, yep. and we, we're real tight now. Um, He's going through a situation with his mom where she's, I think either about to pass or passed. Oh man, mm, damn, wanna, hard to hear that. You know, mm-hmm. say either Send one. The away. But um, he 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 came to me because you know I've been through the situation before, and so he talks to me about it. And I'm and then he was talking to me about how his friends, certain friends, are certain ways, or certain mm-hmm. people act a certain way. And I, you know, him and I think a couple other people. I was telling him I was like, you got to watch out for crabs because yep. some people, you know, they, they, they'll bring you down with them because mm-hmm. they, you know, misery loves company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you kind of got to, you know, be mindful of that and understand your surroundings and be around people that actually want you to do good and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And that's what the dopest thing was about meeting all y'all and meeting the people that I hang with now. Like, that's mm-hmm. why my circle's so goddamn small. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah keep it that way. Mm-hmm. It's getting smaller. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you got to learn how to, you know, the biggest thing for me, man, um, to be honest, was saying no. Yeah, I think saying no is always, and I always wanted to bring that up on the podcast, but I just, you know how you never think of things in the time. Mm-hmm. Saying no used to be my biggest problem. Me too. Um, yeah. Because, I don't know, it's like I always wanted, was one of them people that felt like, damn, I can't let such and such down, or I don't want to, yeah. let me figure, even if I knew I couldn't do it, I'd be like, hold on, let me see. And it's funny because my family hated that about me because I was always a let me see person, but it's because I always wanted to figure out what is the probability of me being able to figure something out to still help, even though I can't 
Yeah, I it mean, don't look like exact it. same way, and, and I, they would hate that about me. And it's like they never understood <clears throat> in me though. It was more like either I'm tired of shit and you want me to go do something that's gonna take a whole level of energy or something, or I'm low on uh, on, on funds and you want me to create a miracle. And it's always been like, you know, let me see if I can figure something out. Let me see if I can move this around and do this and do that. And, you know, to overdraft this, so I could probably get yeah, yeah, You yeah. know, I've always been in that type of predicament because saying no used to be my biggest, my biggest, biggest problem. And mm -hmm, I yeah. think not being able to have a healthy way of saying, no, nah, not today. No, nah, not this time, man. Oh, no, nah, I can't do that. Learning how to do that, man, is going to save you a lot of, like, stress mm -hmm. on your mentality because it caused so much stress for me because, I don't know, I just never felt like letting people down. But yeah. I had to learn sometimes people will, they'll squeeze you dry yeah. if you keep allowing them mm -hmm. to. You know, people, some people don't have a, you know how you got a limit mm -hmm. on, on what you can give or mm -hmm. how much, some people don't have a limit on how much they'll ask. Mm -mm, no. Some people don't mind asking yeah. Over and over and over, which is crazy to me. Because <laughs> I, it's I like you can't I, fathom that. I can't think of how. Like I can't even bring myself to do it. <laughs> yeah. I could be real. broke as hell. Yep. <laughs> and it will. You will starve sometimes. <laughs> like me, I've starved before. Before I ask, because I knew in certain situations, if I if I can't get it, I don't have no back. Mm -hmm. That's how I used to think. Like if I don't do it. <clears throat> nobody else is going to do it. Yeah. So if I'm starving, if it's to the point to where I'm starving, then I already don't have nobody to ask. So it's like I have to, you know what I'm saying? And so, but for me, man, like some people, friends, it's just like people don't mind. Like mentally, they can really come back and back and back and be like, crazy, man. or put themselves like on social media. That's why I say some of the curses of social media is people blast themselves on things to where they should actually probably keep personal or just ask family members because all people do is talk about you yeah. look at so and so begging again begging ass yeah. mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like and you put yourself out there to look that type of way and then when you do get something you flex Yeah. and it's just like what you say bro you could be watching somebody inadvertently where you're, you're not you're, you're pay, it's like you're not you're paying attention but you're not yeah. You know how you scroll on, you just see somebody posting, you oh, okay, that person's doing good, you keep going. Yeah. So you can see them in their times where they great, and then you see their times when they bad. So it feels like you keeping up with them, but when they do get good and they start to flex, and they be like, ah, the people that didn't want to do this when I such and such and And it's just like, well, if you put your whole life on social media, even when you're struggling, when you're good, you put yourself out there for people to judge you. Because like, right. the moment you go back down... <laughs> People gonna be waiting, yep, mm -hmm. and some people actually pray that you don't do good. Yep, yep. just say, bro, just <clears throat> pure evil. It just is like, damn, bro, you don't, you're not, you're not even gonna take into consideration. Like for years, I struggled, still remain humble. They don't give a damn about that. And yeah, they don't give a damn about that. Helping you out, people they don't care about none of that. They don't I care about you. Any I figured, that. I figured out a way to get out the hole. You obviously <laughs> didn't, you know, either. Like you didn't want to either <laughs> learn from either me, you know, try to, you know, you know, help yourself. And bam, you know, you you in that bucket. You were like, oh damn, man. you would think you think it is because you're doing good now, or this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just ridiculous. People man. talk shit and feel shit about us, like, oh yeah. yeah. But mm -hmm. I mean, people not gonna realize, like, bro, where we are, where we came from, how we grew up. Like, you don't. A lot of people don't, don't care about that. the process in general. No. It's it's the same as like what I do as, as my job. I fix dents, mm -hmm. so like, it can, a car could have forty five dents on it, and I could do forty four of them. That one dent is gonna get brought up, and they're gonna talk about that one dent. Like, hey, he, you didn't do, man. This is blah 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 blah. But they don't pay attention to the fact that I just, just fixed forty four dents on thing. your goddamn car. Yeah, you know what man. I'm saying. And so it's the same as like coming up or the process of what you do in the background, editing till like three in the morning, mm -hmm. doing this until oh, this man. time, and then y'all just drop. Let's say you miss one day, and they're like, oh, well, he didn't drop a video on blah, yep. blah, blah. You know, blah, 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 blah. Yep. Like, damn. Like, I ate like, it every fucking that. day. <laughs> <laughs> you know no, what I'm they saying? They don't see that shit, bro. And, <laughs> like, another thing that I know you relate to, um, using hours of recording hours of film that you only use a few minutes of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think people realize how much wasted Man, footage, bro. how much footage get wasted. Yep. Like, there is so much extra footage just in regular videography. I mean, we're doing, we're planning on doing skits and stuff now. Like, if you can imagine, the fucking Squid Games could have been yeah. fucking 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. Easily. 
You know what I'm we saying? Were, we recorded. We were here for what? What? Four hours or something like that. We was here I shot a minute. Yeah. I shot at a two hour event and made a five minute video. Well, yeah. Yeah. See. Yes. So you got. You got to. You got to take take that into consideration. Yeah, that's bro. the part. But it gonna take you yeah. a minute to go through them two hours just to skim that, scale that yeah, all the way you down have to, to process. Five. You have to break down. You have to understand what. What's going first? What beat you gonna use? If you're mm-hmm. gonna use music, are you gonna mm-hmm. put it to this? Are you gonna do this? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna line it up with that? Is this a clip that would make sense in this video? Is yeah. this a, how you want to start it? How you want to end, bro? That shit is a nightmare, bro. <laughs> it's my thing. Ain't nobody can't talk miss about what we do. Cause if they do, I'm be like, like I'm pull out my Mac. Like, I right, look, edit the video. <laughs> edit the video. Yeah. How, how you do it? You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, this oh, you don't know. Oh no, 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 not Photoshop. No, no, it's it's an uh, no. It's called it's, it's another another uh, platform. Like, <laughs> trust me. And the soft. Yeah, man. I mean, it's just it's one of them things, bro. Where yeah. you know it, it's the 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 process. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The process. I definitely got to call this the Bougie Boys. The Bougie, the bougie Boys. Boys. This is what this the episode will be called. Gratitude, so, Bougie Boys. Bougie Boys. Bougie Boys. We got real. It was funny. We got real. Funny real. Yeah, but, uh, but we definitely have to take time on. to yes. talk about obviously what happened at Astro World. Uh, yeah, first man. thing first, we send our prayers and condolences to the family members that lost loved ones. Uh, yeah. That is overall just a, real, a horrible, tragic situation that no one yeah. I mean, expected to happen. I mean, you're just there to enjoy a concert, a festival, and. And you end up losing someone that you love and care about. Definitely. So yeah. first and foremost, that, prayers to, to all the families and everyone you know that was affected. Injuries. There's new reports coming out. Uh, yeah. Apparently, someone, uh, a Texas A&M student, today is uh, apparently brain dead from the injuries mm, suffered. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then uh, it's terrible. No, another man. another par- another one. Uh, another person passed away. So oh, that was up to no. nine. No, Jesus, so. man. And and it's it's just. I, I want to. I, the reason why I bring this up, obviously, from Houston. So you know, mm-hmm. this is yeah. you know, it's right in our backyards, bro. Yeah, so right in our backyard. So, right. but I also want to bring this up to really let people know. I get it. When stuff like this happen, first thing instinctively for human beings to do is to blame. We got to point the finger at yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. responsible for this. And I'm not saying that there's nothing wrong with trying to get to the bottom of every situation especially when it's you know it deals with death yeah. but we got to be rational here and people are trying to crucify Travis Scott here and oh, they're man. not looking at the bigger picture the bigger <clears throat> picture here is there's a lot more people at fault than just him yeah, he does definitely. place some fault into it on our course early in the day there was people breaking the bear case so there was a lot of people just rushing in and he was kind of inciting that on Twitter that that falls on him because at yeah. the end of the day, you're supposed to be like, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? At least, hey, yeah. you know, like, hey, that's not cool. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. that's not, uh, you know, that's that's not going to really help our situation. He was trying to get more people to get in. Mm-hmm. So, of course, the tweet is the leader or whatnot. He does play a part in it, but I'm not about to sit up here and act like the people that are over the festival, the, the people that manage it, to set it up. This oh, is yeah. not something they, they definitely... do in just one night. They didn't plan for this. Obviously, they didn't have the right amount of staff, the right amount of security and this is there. At least the third year of this. Yeah. So yeah. this this really comes down to a lot of people more than just Travis at the end of the Easily. day. Easily. So that's what I want to leave the message on is let's right. not be so quick to point fingers because of something tragic happened mm-hmm. without getting all the information in detail. Can I'm I'm willing to bet Travis is not out here just like, oh well, boys is out here dying in my concert. I'm going to just, you know, keep doing what I'm right, doing. Because right. at the end yeah. of the day, he knows and everyone else knows. And he he's a brand. He's, you know, he knows he's a brand. That's a bad image if you got people going to your That's concert. That's bad for business. And yeah. Very dying. bad for business. So it wouldn't even make so sense for him to do that. people not even thinking in that. And but nobody's pe- thinking that. People just, like, oh, wait, he's a uh, demonic. Yeah. 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 There's so many different <laughs> conspiracies and stuff like that. Oh, but this they time to shine, boy. Oh, definitely. Oh, there's they so couldn't many. Wait. Illuminati people. I heard there's a three-hour documentary. Oh, look, I'm not about to watch that. Like, no, this is. I'm it's trying so to tell y'all. To I'm look, trying hit, to tell y'all. Oh, go ahead. Oh, my, my bad. Go well, ahead, my go my ahead. thing is, like I said, <laughs> Travis cannot be the only one at fault, you know? Yeah. Um, Pretty much the people that host it, you know, uh-huh. the security, all that. But the thing is, it's like, this is bad timing, bro. Because we, Travis Scott is known for these rowdy shows. He is. And it just fell 
flat. Just so went. they could even if went. you can logically think, I'm like, yeah, it's not his fault. It's like, damn, you know, he's had multiple incidents where uh -huh. people got injured. He encouraged people to like yep. jump, jump from a second story, and like, uh -huh. oh, if you if you if you break your leg or something, you know, it's on you, so and so. Well, he's known for that. And like so many other rock stars, rap stars, you know, they're known for just having crazy performances. <laughs> and so that's why you really got to think about that too. I'm like, it's, man, I don't know. It, I, honestly, I feel, I definitely, of course, I feel bad for the victims and the of families. Of course, yeah. It's like, damn, bro, definitely. how is Travis going to get out of this? Because in this day and age, I don't want to use the word that, you know, was, <laughs> See, what they're trying to do exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, bro, is it. But they. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't see how, I don't know how things are going to go. Um. It's time will tell, to man, me but. also. Um, it's 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 kind of like a it's a lot of people are acting like this is like a new style of concert festival or it's something, not. but yeah. it's not True. like the mosh pit, the rock star, oh, yeah, they, they the extra all rowdy yeah. fighting each other in the crowd thing yeah. is a completely mm -hmm. normal thing that's been going on forever. Yep. Um, injuries is a normal thing, not to not to this degree. I'm not saying it's like yeah. this is just okay or nothing. Yeah, but this just like so people are, be. it just so happened to you know get out of hand where people are like clotting, mm -hmm. like stampeding over each other and yeah. stuff like and that. Boys already said they were short staff. Why were they short staff? Exactly. It's like they kind of set them up for failure. Exactly. This and is like, already bad from the it jump. It felt like it so. was almost like they couldn't wait to for mm -hmm. this to happen for Travis. Oh yeah. They, they wanted they like a lot of people didn't like the the Astro World Festival in general. Like it was, this has been a thing where they've been trying to yeah, cancel this. Travis is a huge influence. It's like, it's Drake and Travis, I think, probably like right there. Something. You know, Drake, got him, got Travis him, is that, you know, everybody loves Travis Scott. To, for so. me, it got real with the blame thing, like you were saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and like y'all was pointing out when they tried to put Drake into it. Yeah, At that, that point, no I was, sense too. Yeah. That, that, that's what lightened it up for the Travis thing for me, only yeah. because I was like, well, see, at this point, y'all just blaming anybody who's yeah. at the focal saying, point. As Drake came out, people started pushing towards the stage yeah, at that point. Obviously. Well, I mean, yeah. he's a star. Drake. He's Drake. And at that fault, that's when it's the staff's fault. I was about to say, that's when you have to t take into yeah. account the venue, the staff. The venue, exactly. The people, like, people shouldn't be able to do this. Yep. Right. They should have canceled yeah. that show as soon as people busted in the gates and started. People... People mm -hmm. didn't even have a ticket. People they got was my go point. Crazy Common sense, okay. Because it was daytime. Yeah, daytime. Yeah. Shit is when about to get happened. real. We need to call this off. We yep. need to postpone it. But it, did they it do that? It didn't. No. And look what happened. You That's got nine people, people that lost their lives, man. It's a lot of people to Most blame. of people, injuries, you know, it's yep. hearing about this little boy, man. His, and all it, his and organs are down. Is, bro, this shit just It's not, it's not taking for Travis, but at the same time, I could only imagine, like, how he must feel, like, damn. Yeah. It just the video he did didn't make it look better. Nah, it, it didn't. And I then just, that, yeah. I just would have did a, a written it, exactly. Yeah. But yeah, that video at the end of the day, I know he feel terrible, bro. Of like, course, and it, you got people that support you. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. think about these. I mean, just you know, God ever forever for, mm -hmm. forbid. But I'm just putting myself in his situation. What happened if we do a meet and greet and people going crazy? We're gonna have to yeah. deal with somebody that for the rest of our lives. Like, yeah. are, like, am I gonna get penalized just for being me? Just for, because mm -hmm. people who support me or supported me for so long was finally able to meet us. Like, what are the chances of us just being in Michigan on some shit randomly? Yeah. Yeah. You know, so a person might feel like, bro, I'm never probably going to see them again. Ah. Exactly. You know, and then so what happens if they injure themselves just for trying to meet us? Yeah. I would feel terrible. Yeah. Like so, I know he feels and, like, and people yeah. go crazy, crazy when they see celebrities. They people, do. Like they Michael Jackson, it. prime example. Oh, oh fame yeah, left yeah, and right. Yeah, that, you know, that was that was this, the norm. It's celebrities. Yeah, norm. If you don't have yeah. any kind of restrictions or stuff mm -hmm. stopping these people from doing that, that's just going to happen. Yeah, like, that's yeah. what's going to happen. That's why you know? security and these mm -hmm. venues are supposed to put things in place so that way because they yeah. know special guests. A lot of people had yeah. it that Drake was going to come out. Mm -hmm. But people yeah, wasn't, it. you know, you always, you sure, but you're unsure, of course, because you never know. And this is one of the first festivals, well, a few first festivals after COVID. COVID, COVID yeah. yeah. So, so anything from now is going to be major. And that's mm -hmm. point Who was that, the first one? L Lollapalooza or something like yeah, that? Yeah, Lollapalooza. That was like overpacked and stuff. Yeah, it, was it was huge. Yeah. And let's point out the fact yeah. that the words Rolling you just loud. said, COVID. Yeah. What the hell happened to COVID? It yeah. don't exist no more, bro. boy, when I tell you those it were thousands of people it don't exist. I'm I want to know what exist, COVID for them to say for them to say the Delta variant just right because I'm thinking like when they I'm were talking about Jack. how yeah. they were so shoulder to shoulder that if you put your yeah. hands up you couldn't put your hands down and yeah. in my mind I'm like not only am I claustrophobic yeah that's yeah, which I'll I admit because I, I am claustrophobic but you know I'm thinking like bro 
how many like that's that's the proximity of people. How many cases yelling, do we have now? Yeah, yelling and yeah, singing you don't and hear y'all. You, uh, yeah, my, 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 my bad. Oh, no, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because you know, you made me think. I'm like, hmm. We have not heard about. Hmm. Oh, oh no 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 no! The cases having COVID cra- cra- uh, has do increased. Talk due to, it, but they no, talk no, they talk about, about it, it, but like very, the actual effects. Yeah, they no, they talk about it enough where people can miss it. Yeah, it yeah. ain't like exactly. what it was at they're first. They're still talking about it, yeah, but like, shit you know, you like, hey nigga, yeah. they're like, well, COVID went up a little again. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, yeah. let's not talk about it. But yeah, yeah. the Astros lost, and maybe, maybe we're the pigs. <laughs> yeah. exactly. so maybe we're uh, it's Grand Stand or is he? Yep. Yep. So yeah, it's 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 just one of those things where it's like it's it's. It's we get Definitely more sorry for information about it yeah. daily, and it's very <clears throat> tragic, bro. And I, I was just talking to my barber earlier today. I was like, "Yo, I don't, I don't see them potentially having another uh, asteroid." Oh, no, I think they're trying to no, postpone it's, it. It's they're trying to ban it. Shut down. It's, they're trying to stop him from performing in Texas. Yeah, oh there yeah. There's another. Uh, yeah, no, there's another festival he pulled out of, which yeah, is, it makes sense. Right now, it's just time will tell, bro. Right now, Travis just need, of course, need to stay lay, lay low. Yeah. Um, of course, he's paying for all the funerals and yeah. you know mm-hmm. more. So. And he's, he's being he's humble to about refund. it, you know, get yeah, I mean, refunds. But and a lot of people were saying, um, a lot of the lawyers were saying, if they take the refund, it could possibly affect them suing him. So mm, that, like they're saying, uh-huh. not to. I heard a lawyer predicted that the lawsuits could be in like the billions. Well, I don't say billions, like a billion. <laughs> but but for who's I feel like a lot of it's not going to go. Yeah, a lot like, of that. It's not going to stick to Travis. We so can't. We're, for what? Damn. That they were hurt or they were people hurt. Emo- Emotionally, I was there, people even though gone. I probably was waiting. You know, people squeeze. gonna run it they're up. Gonna, oh. Yeah, they're oh, gonna yeah. run it up. Yeah, people gonna run it it's up. It's really gonna but hit then, the venue more than it's gonna yeah. hit Travis. When too many people start calling, they don't realize you. That's the less you get. You probably get fifty dollars at the end of the day. Because yep. people will just be claiming, "Oh, I was there," and like, "Cause I was there too. I just you didn't have a ticket." Yeah. All the people that didn't have a ticket, what uh-huh. happens to those folks? Yeah, because they can't claim anything. Yeah. Right? They broke in technically. They was there Shh. illegally. Technically, that was I can arrest you now. Yeah. Thank you. Basically, Thank you. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, you don't have a you don't have a what? You didn't have a oh, okay, well, I'm uh, in. Uh, we got him. Uh, ten four, Roger. <laughs> I'm in my cousin. <laughs> my yeah. No, 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 no. It's time to go. Nah, get but, your uh, ass here. Yeah, nah. Yeah. So, get but no, nah, unfortunately, man, here. definitely yeah. sorry for the loss of life, man. And you know, this is what's scary about this is what I say is how I feel about the generation to come. I feel like now, with everything and how it is, the kids are not really moving with a stable mindset anymore. Meaning. You you thinking anything? You are thinking you are anything? Anything could be done. Anything is possible. We're not really raising kids on like stern logic anymore. We're just raising them with straight feelings and emotions. And my children shouldn't be able to be so convinced. I mean, as kids, yeah. But as a you know, an older person, you know, you in your twenties, you shouldn't be so easily convinced to do certain things. Like, Mm-mm. you couldn't tell me, hey, man, jump up that ladder up there and jump down. I want to see what happens. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I like, shouldn't. Shut up. I shouldn't be that mm. prone to being. Easily manipulated. Influenced. Yeah, manipulated. influenced. Mm-hmm. The influence is so strong now. Like, it's like you can pretty much get these kids to do damn near anything. And I think that's going to be a scary thing in the years to come because yeah. we're not trying to put them on certain morales anymore. Now it's just on like, no, nah, you believe it, be it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, be it, but. Understand, there's a lot of consequences that come with, you yeah. know, putting yourself out there in certain, you know, instances, True. and you know, we're, it's just no more logic, really. Speaking you know? of that, somebody said that uh, <clears throat> I was talking to somebody on Twitter, and they were like, he was like, yeah, well, you can have freedom. Well. Yeah, that's. <laughs> he was speaking about uh, the Kyrie Irving thing. He was like, yeah, you can have freedom of speech. Everybody can have freedom of speech, but it could, you got to remember that freedom of speech comes with consequences. Exactly what you True. do. And then it's uh, not somebody shield. was like, well, right. well. When did freedom of speech ever have consequences? He uh, he believed in blah 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 blah. I'm like, well, freedom of speech always yeah, had some type had of consequences. consequences. Yeah. There's yeah. always going to be some kind of result mm-hmm. from uh-huh. what you said. And if you don't believe that, ask MLK, ask yeah. uh, yep. Malcolm X. No matter X. how you ask feel all the about activists, it, you know, yeah, you yeah, know. you might have freedom of speech, but if somebody feels it, strongly yeah. against it, shit, mm-hmm. they're gonna do what they're gonna mm-hmm. do. Yeah. The crazy thing is, for black people, we didn't have a speech to even begin with, so. I really don't like when black people be so quick to tear black people down. Uh-huh. Right. But we quiet when it comes to other races, and I'm not oh, making it a me, racial I'm thing. I'm not making it a racial thing, but what yeah. people don't understand is, and this is just to my own black people, we are so quick to get on each other's ass. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God. When mm-hmm. a nigga mess up, mm-hmm. oh, niggas is the first one. Shit, I, me. Gotcha. Hand is already extended. Aaron Rodgers, you yeah. Yeah. Not the hand. So, yeah, hand you heard it from me. We, we, uh, got, we got... 
The mm. memes is cooking. Yep. Mm-hmm. They cook. We can't wait, bro. The Travis Scott memes are all over the place. I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah. Can't wait. Is... I mean, because we're not the type that's going to kind of like hold down our own. We'll let other people joke about us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that like we need to be divided, but I'm just saying yeah. for our people who be doing the marching, who be talking about they want rights and they want to, we need to come together. We need to support our own businesses. These are the same people that be quick to ready to, mm-hmm. you know, to bring them down one another when people are going through tough times. Yeah. When this is the time that they need us the most. Exactly. If we don't do it, who you think else is going to do it? Do they have a black owned food app? Mm. Do they? I don't know. Because uh, we need one. I will be good. I'm shooting. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure they they probably probably. Got Man, I got so many. I don't want to say it on here because you know you never know who. I got so many ideas that I think we need to do just as a people in general. But yep. um, you know, it's even for like when we were doing the 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 lockout. Well, not the lockout, but after the George Floyd mm-hmm. uh, murder, and Everybody's we buying wasn't black owned. buying mm-hmm. nothing. We wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was kind of black and everything. One time, the world seemed like it was united. That was the first time. And the one time where you (laughs) actually start to see shit, I've never cut on the game and seen your life matters. Just want you to know. I've never seen that. It was, but it it just shows you how powerful it is when you come together. It's not just our country. I'm talking about people in Germany. Around the world, France, like Australia. United. I remember at work, you know, teachers. They were they were talking to us, you know, as a concern too, or whatnot. I'm like, whoa, I've never Bro. felt more like respected. Not even as a black person, but just as a grown man in general. Because they were like, they were more shocked exactly. in reality. It's like for some reason mm-hmm. they forgot about everything in the past. The whole Rodney yeah. King beating, mm-hmm. you know, the, mm-hmm. all of the other killings and shooting. This was so blatant. Not saying none yeah. of the other ones weren't. Because yeah. we can go down the list. Yeah, of we names definitely all go day. down the list. Bro. It was so blatant and so current. They had put the shit behind them and just and to see somebody put their knee on someone's neck and for that, that person long. is yelling and out and home. crying for his life. Exactly, man. You couldn't do nothing but feel something. If you didn't feel nothing I, watching bro, that, I which I couldn't even bring myself to ever watch Dude it, was crying I've never for seen his mom it. That passed away, I've never bro. seen it like, to this day. But if you if you yeah. can watch that from what I've continually heard, and of course what I've drawn the conclusions, if you don't feel nothing when you watch that, man, you are not human. Yeah. That means there's something in here, something in here that you're missing, bro. So. Um, again, rest in peace yeah, uh, to the people um, yeah. that passed away uh, at the event, man. Prayers um, to the definitely families. sorry to hear that. Right. Prayers to the family, you know, for your strength uh, through these troubled times. And y'all just need space and just, you know, focus on that thing, that family. And just yeah, always realize right. kind of what we mixed in in the beginning. Enjoy life, man, because you never know. Yeah, you, never know, you know, bro. you never know. Some people had no idea that that was going to be the last day on earth. You didn't, you didn't expect that. Nah, That's the real sad part. Even like the little kid, bro, with like fourteen year old kid. I'm mm-hmm. like, yo, bro, it's, you know, it's, it's beyond devastating, bro. Yeah. Like, so yeah, we definitely so. wanted to take time to talk about yeah. that since okay. this is right in our backyard, man. And but uh, to switch to a lighter note, uh, I see you got the the Will Smith book, man. Yeah, man, Will. Yeah, you got the Will Smith book. Got uh, it. There's been um, some other stuff. He even came out and said, you know yeah. what I'm saying, about his 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 real jealousy for Tupac and how he really, you know, when he did get J.D., he wanted to make sure yeah. that he pleased her. I seen to that the on the Breakfast utmost, Club. Utmost, you know, his highest level to please her section. I, I was just like. Oh, How's that been working out for him? That makes me so <laughs> sad. Will, no, bro. Come on, man! I'll tell you this. Oh, I mean, he gave him. He gave his. He, he put gave, himself out there. He did, you know. and that's 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 it's real. I that's saw real. that, that bulletin. I was like, that's oh, a real man, Lord. bro. Because a lot of us have these feelings that we'll Woo. never really want to put out there. Yeah. It's a lot of people in the industry where he is that you know we looking at fakes. You know, yeah. they're not gonna oh, really yeah. tell you who they how they really feel. Yeah. There's a lot of people are envious of other people, man. Because yeah. people will quickly judge somebody like let's say, Will, Will you sipping right now? Because blah blah blah. But I'm like, he's out here really saying how he feel. Yeah. Half but of y'all won't even scary, do that. But that's a scary thing. Why is it simping if you're telling how you really feel? But uh-huh. when you don't t- say it and you ball that shit up and something end up happening, then it's like, ah. Oh, Black men need to speak mental uh-huh. health. It's a it's a terrible health. thing we have in our culture. I don't think people know the real definition of symptoms. So I think people just think if you have as a guy, if you have feelings for a woman, you're a simp. I've had people Which say that in comments, cap. and I'm like, I don't good. think you. I think I don't think you really know what it is. I think you just trend hopping 
because it's cool to solve, yeah. call someone a simp. Yep. But that's yeah, not man. the definition of a simp. I feel like a simp is when you're getting taken advantage of and Definitely. you know, no, you're you taken don't, advantage you know of it. Them. And or you're just like, oh no, you're catering to a woman that's you know just treating not, you wrong, and there's or you yeah, like mm. like Brandon saying, you do you going above and beyond for someone that you know don't look at you exactly. like that. Yeah. They don't even give you close to the same um, respect you give them. Yeah, yeah. She's not she's not respect that. Or are you dating only fans model? No, I'm playing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you got against that? That is <laughs> simp. Yeah. That's the simp territory. Your girl yeah. still doing? Yeah, I heard. Damn, it's crazy. Yeah. Via Reddit. <laughs> it's a anyway, Reddit King right here, bro. Will Smith, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga saying. Oh, no, clearly, you said my girl. Nah, it was. It ain't, it ain't, no. huh? it ain't my girl, my girl. You said my girl. Still. Nah, I ain't mean it. Yeah, like I that. know, I know. I'm letting making the sure. No, nah, I this nigga Brandon so, sick. No, I'm not dating no OnlyFans, no, no, none of that. <laughs> what if she? What if she dropped it and was really trying to find somebody and she? It's with right. the internet is forever there, bro. <laughs> like, yes. So you could never do forever it. Forever. Yeah, the internet is like they can just Google yo yo good. Y'all are y'all are talking to a girl. For, y'all are talking to a girl for two years, <laughs> right? Yeah. You're very serious with her. Y'all really love you. Really love her. You vibing with her. You find out she had she did porn. Oh, she didn't find. Oh, she didn't know from a jump. If you didn't know, you found out mm. because she thought it was all old videos that was deleted. And block. Nah. Got it. Internet, bro. Worldwide. I'm web, just at, this, 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 That's this, a, this, Is she still doing the yeah. porn? No, she doesn't do it anymore. How long has she been out of the porn? She's been out of it for years to the okay. point to where she thought it was like. She the thought fact it was that she buried. didn't bring it up, like, she didn't bring it up. But you're two years in. You did, she didn't bring it up, but. Yeah, I mean, that's else, not a question. You everything just else like, is like, yeah, that's that is. Hey, that's, that's hey, babe, like, you know what I'm saying? So she uh, should have brought it up, but yeah, yeah, yeah. like I see your body parts on a porn. Like, look, <laughs> I've once at <laughs> one familiar. time in my life I had to do this. Uh, you but know, you, I have no. I mean, I, I regret it now. So and so, and I, I get that, but at I the get same it. Time, but it's just like, man, you hit that for two years. Y'all been talking for two years. That's where the issue comes. Y'all talking for two years. Everything else about her vibe. It and depends on her reason for not saying it. Anymore. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Right. Because some people obviously maybe they, because they, she felt like she would be embarrassed and you wouldn't yeah, want to talk which, to her. Which that would probably be that's going to be the escape. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the escape. The, the easy one. You made the damage worse though. You should have said it from the jump. Like, so you dropping it? At least give me some. It's, like, man, bro, it's crazy. I would have to because I'm like, you know, I got my partners and stuff like that. They can easily <laughs> just see you make it like that. Like, fuck me for miles only. That'll be a scary partner to go try to dig up your chick. You got relatives too. Yeah, you do got weird ass just, niggas like that, man. Yeah. Like, yep. Hey fam, I heard of so and so got a. I mean, she was she was good back in the day. She do the same shit to you. Like nigga, get your ass on. See, we so, damn. You gotta watch out for. See that got sad like real quick. <laughs> 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 yeah, Hold on, wait, real quick. I probably was still. I'm still dating. That's the scent, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm playing. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm just playing. If I'm, I'm in love with her, I'm just no. kidding, bro. Because you brought up the whole same thing. I was about to say, yeah, that's, right. what, that's the only reason why I, I say that. For me, I couldn't. I could mentally see the porn star. Mentally would mess me up. Mentally, but I feel like everybody. That's the beauty of the whole world. Yeah. We're we're all different. <laughs> not, there's a certain level when it comes she to change. You bro. I know people change. would pass, but yeah. when you're a porn star, pass. That's a whole. <laughs> yeah. different That is all exactly like like I've people definitely like met it's a not a big before. deal. Like, right. and I was like, all right, I'll be all right yeah. with the hoe. Right. But a porn star? No, it's not. You get no, your, a hoe can do bro, that privately. No, yeah. Exactly. Well, a porn I don't know star, if it's really privately because a lot me, of okay. times they should be out. It's just not With, like a lot of people, though. Let me yeah, tell yeah. you, you're not thing. on porn That's cool. It ain't, yeah. it ain't like people going to distinctly. It ain't like she could just It ain't professionally. Yeah, you're right. Professionally, man. No, ain't nothing private with porn. Private. Is, there's pri- no pri- there's private into the. Cause you just Private. clearly ain't searching. Now that I know, like I'm that. fucked off now. Exactly. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> now I'm searching. This is what made it even worse. I saw an interview one time where this porn star said, "Look, if I'm dating a man, you gotta understand what I'm doing is my job. Don't expect me to do the same thing to you. What I'm doing to my coworkers, you got me fucked up. I'm sorry. Like, the, if yeah, I'm your man, I want yeah. that and yeah. more. Yeah. What you're doing? <laughs> you ain't about offended. to cater to them and not give none to me. Like, I feel that. Hell no. I respect that. First of all, I wouldn't date you, like, cause you already you. <laughs> Especially an active porn star, which is, I'm sorry, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't like, know how you date an active porn And, and, and there's mean, people that do, do it, it, which is weird, I know, bro. They, I don't know how Because in their minds, it's not sex. It's, it's yeah. not. It's like it's acting. You know? Can, okay, naked can and, y'all compare that to dating an active stripper? 
See, that's another thing too, because like once again, strippers don't always have sex can, though. You're right, but yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to see. Like, I could date I, a stripper. Personally, I, you could sh- date a stripper, not actively. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what we're talking about. Like, can you date an active stripper? Like, once again, like, like, once like, again, like, like you probably had honest. Right? You got partners and relatives that could probably see you naked. This time it's different. It's not the w- website. They go down the street. They go to Onyx and bam, look at it. They know where you at. You I about can do, to, I can do. Go to like your wife did her thing stripper? last night, bro. Yeah, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's some other see, shit, that's man. some. Yeah, exactly. I can't do an active fighting words. Yeah. Boy, Past yeah. stripper, but not active. Hey, two each is on. I know this man Pass out there. Stripper? Hey, Pass stripper, not actor. Okay. If I had to choose between a porn star Pass and a stripper, stripper that would retire, go I would go with yeah. the stripper. I wouldn't want to. Stripper. But I, I wouldn't would choose either stripper. one off just top. No. Yeah, of course not. But. Yeah, it's not just a, what am I going to choose at the top of the list today? <laughs> it's got to be a porn star. And that's or no, or just no, 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 uh, no, no judgment. Yeah, no, 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 no <laughs> judgment. Because no they judgment, making their money. Y'all do what y'all got to do. They making their money. Do what you got to do. You know, there's one thing in this world that people forgot that we have that they keep judging people on. What? Preferences. Yeah, you know, people preference. have. Pre- it's some yep. niggas that will don't mind. Oh, I've seen people go into strip clubs and yep. do sexual acts to strippers in the middle of the club. So yeah. if a nigga can do that to a random chick, I'm sure I, somebody don't mind dating and and cooking her eggs when she get I, home mm, in the morning. I probably would. <laughs> shit. I don't see a lot. I say cooking her eggs. I think I was, yeah. Hey, babe, you in? Oh, all right. Let's get breakfast for you. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all stupid, bro. I don't want you to remind you of work, so I'll go put some clothes on. You got to hit you like with that, that baby bro. boy. Right. <laughs> they would be in a club <laughs> throwing the dollars at their wife. So, oh, yeah, that's my good. She on stage. And I'm like, hey, to each his own, man. That's, that's, yeah, I mean, to each. No, that's what works hey, for them. Preferences. Yeah. I'm not going to yeah. judge you. Just don't judge me for not wanting the shit. Yeah. yeah. There that's it is. What's your topic? This the ghost, y'all. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, crocodile tears. Yeah. I don't think I. I don't think I seen that. Kyle uh, Wright, I think Wright House or whatever. Yeah. Nah, bro. Yeah, they. So what happened? Fact. He was they, the one. He was a. Uh, he's he's a. He was seventeen at the time. Mm-hmm. He killed those protesters, like the Black Lives Matter protests, like a year ago. Oh, yeah. He, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. My understanding, he got the and, gun. And they had a video that shit. came out or something. But when uh, when the office the officers didn't stop him. Though. No, they didn't stop him. Yeah, that's that same. Because you got mother. the you got the Republicans. They're defending him. Oh, it, uh, they were attacking him. So it don't matter, bro. You were seventeen years old with a damn AR fifteen. And they didn't. Your ass no had no business being there. Well, no, I don't know now. I know that no, they're they still in trial. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's what the fuck happened to January fucking six because we don't talk about that shit no more. Now Trump, well, they they trying to get Trump. It's like every day they, they know something worse and worse about Trump. Man, saying they're putting him at fault for this. Not so. him. Well, him, whoever, him, and all the other people, everybody else, bro. I'm talking about all yeah. the motherfuckers that was actively there. Yeah. <laughs> you see, we're not going to take it yep, for real, exactly. right? How the, the hell did y'all live, bro? And then someone not, died. From we that. don't yeah. even talk about that shit no more. Like that didn't just happen. Like they didn't just uh, ten months ago. The mm-hmm. they raid the, the capital. Raid the capital. The entire mm-hmm. capital. And oh, I heard the dumbest from somebody. And we're boys out here living oh. their best life. Oh, for the niggas that was talking about Colin Kaepernick, mm-hmm. I just want to hear you. Oh, man, I know. They like, were I, so quiet because I had a lot of people and white people that I thought was cool that was like, well, it's not about just protesting. It's about the respect. Damn. My daddy was a veteran. My dad was, my grandfather Bull was a veteran. Shit. Yeah, shout like, out. Come, man. And Whatever I've heard the most dumbest saying, oh, well, oh, you know, I'm taking a knee. The people that were riding. Oh, people was mad oh, about oh, him you taking a knee that, and yeah. talking about him protesting, yeah. but they it's disrespectful to the flag and the country. No, because you actually have him. Uh, but raiding person. the Capitol? He told Kaepernick to kneel. Don't sit yeah, down. Yeah, he did. Kneel, that means you're showing respect right. to the flag, right. but you know you have him for a cause. You know, you're uh-huh. protesting for a cause. So, bam. And they talked about that a long time ago. Exactly, man. I don't want to hear all this. And they was talking about that shit. Certain people, they want to get patriotic when it's benefits. But, but for January 6th, mother, I didn't hear yep. a goddamn word. Yep. Yo, real quiet. Oh, I heard something, most asinine, from, I was told by somebody else that they heard, that they told them, oh, Damn, the people nigga, that, that rioted, people. the people that rioted, well, <laughs> they heard that they told them, well, my cousin's sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly, basically, <laughs> I don't want to put no names out there. She said you. she's a conservative. She's like, oh, the people that were rioting. They weren't conservatives. Of conservatives don't do that bullshit. You were Trump supporters. Y'all on the same goddamn bucket. Y'all are some goddamn domestic <laughs> terrorists that the day. Same so exactly. Damn. So once again, black folks. Oh shit. We 
Don't you even think about doing no shit like that. I ain't gonna we lie. all would have been sprayed up that day, but that'd for some reason. That would have been a lot of exactly. shot people. Yeah. Dead on sight, bro. I don't, yeah. I don't see nothing that's going to have me voting for Biden again. So, yeah. Well, yeah, that's yep. a whole, that's a whole other topic, figure too. Out. Yeah. So, somebody, goddamn, no celebrity, no nothing. We definitely got to get our governor out of here, too. Our governor. Yeah, governor. Yeah, I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to go to none of them. Exactly. The governor wow. getting wheeled out of here. Mm-hmm. We definitely not. Thank God. That's why she don't have a mic right now, ladies and gentlemen. Did she didn't hear what he said. She's, she's, I'll say she's it. encouraging I said it for me to oh, say, say some more. Say I don't want to say We're going to wheel him out of here. <laughs> We're going to wheel him out on the ramp. It's Ted Cruz, to you too. You get your ass Yikes. out of here too, man. Like, yep. Ted Cruz. Yep. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Where you get that? Had a goddamn right. Arctic freeze and your ass going to the Bahamas or some shit. Yeah, yep. your ass got caught out. Your ass get. God. Well, God. Idiot. Yeah, it's it's these people. Idiot. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's, it's just I'm I'm at the point. I'm sorry. I just don't give a fuck. I just wish I was on conservatives, the liberals. Y'all just y'all are idiots. I'm, I'm over sorry. all y'all of both, them. Both, bro. All like, of y'all, 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 y'all act the same. I'm and I sorry. will say this: like if y'all. you're if you're a hundred percent either one of them, I don't trust. Would you say? <laughs> no, because I really don't, bro. You cannot just, sit the fuck there and, yeah, and argue because I got to a mix of both of them. No, yeah. exactly. So you I'm I'm neither. I'm not a Republican nor Democrat, and because y'all just this past few years, y'all really just showed y'all asses. So, I'm just, just me. Now that I know my dumb. student loans ain't yeah. going to get touched. Yeah. So Nell Nep been calling me. They have? Yeah. Who? Nell Nep. What? Oh, for real? Nell Nep been calling they me. They all back. Yeah. Back. COVID over, nigga. Come on, Tom. You been at work. Come Damn. on, loans. You good? Yeah, fair loan service, yeah. Damn. They're like, they hey, start. how you doing, Mr. Jones? Yeah, they good, <laughs> friends. Sister Jones? Is Brother Jones? Is Brother Jones and Sister Jones there? <laughs> Can I forbear it again? <laughs> <laughs> With the quickness. Uh, up can I get, get another house. zero dollar month? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk all my shit. I'm in my crib. <laughs> yep. Like, sir, you can't do nothing worse than me. I'm dude. safe, nigga. Like, bro, uh, do what you got to do. I went past gold, nigga. <laughs> And it's funny because I was gonna wait to start to pay it off for, yeah. until you know I thought Biden was gonna you know throw us a little something, something whether it was his bill or not you know Shit. but Just, you I know thought that was something on the Democrat but see people was getting no ice cube for presenting bills to yep. both parties because mm-hmm. he was trying to do uh, as asinine as it may have seemed at least this nigga was trying to put something in place that was gonna be for black people yeah, yeah. because I ain't seen a black damn thing since but if I wasn't yeah. black I wasn't voting if I ain't voting for you I ain't black. Yeah. Yep. Wasn't the Asian hate crime? Yeah. Uh, Why uh, you black thing? people have? Uh, like they've gave. They've given millions to the Asian community, but yeah. Oh yeah. Apparently, we're the main attackers to them. So we're the main. Yeah, we're the. But yeah, there was a mass shooting in, in Georgia. Uh, yeah, we we don't need to specify the race. Jesus. You know, there's many attacks and stuff. Last time I checked, we the one that's been under the barrel for as yep. long. Yep. We've right. given millions to our money to to them, but yet yeah, we're we're the villains. It took them no time. And you know why? Because in the Asian community, they have power. Yeah, they stick The gay together. community, they have power. They stick together. Black folks, unfortunately, we have yet to. So at we, the end of the day, bro, we, I told you, it's we all popular, about that power, black bro. Black people are the, yeah. Black people are the popular kids in school. Exactly. Yep. We got the fashion. We got the jokes. Yeah. And they want it all. Yep. Yep. Until they get real. Yep. Exactly. But they got the they, they got the smarts. They got the money. They got mm-hmm. all the resources. Yeah. And we stuck looking cool and funny. So yes, racism will always be here. But at the end of the day, it's all about that power. So they're gonna cater to whoever has that power. And yep. yep. That's why it it took no no effort to Biden to sign that 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 bill. So and Kamala sleep for something? What she been? Uh, did she teleport? <laughs> she on another planet? Damn, I don't like. She just oh, she went to Mars. Yeah, she went to Mars, bro. Exactly. She been That's missing since the, the inauguration, right? She yeah. the vice president for Mars right now. I don't know right. what she's doing. Damn. I seen like, her at a surprise birthday party. Really? Surprise! Oh, oh, yeah. oh! You, you still here? <laughs> surprise! Surprise! Oh, damn! You still in the office, girl? I thought you. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm in there. Yeah. Yeah. I have yeah. not heard. Yep. We have a vice president. I yeah. haven't we seen do. shit. <laughs> I don't know her. I ain't seen a Usually, speech. And my, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> we did it, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> Body like no, I did it. He's like, all right, now go hide in the closet. Exactly. Yep. Right, <laughs> go on, girl. Yeah. You know like, your job. You did your part. Yep. <laughs> I don't even see her around when Biden does a speech. 
Yeah. You, you got the you color. Want a, you want a sorority. Somebody check on Instagram. She you want a sororities. Like, Thank you. <laughs> got the first one in there. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just crazy. So yeah, well, shit. Um, we'll too see honest. the next. We still we got four, four years or three years now. I don't three think Biden years. will be uh, impeached, but well, that no, shit ain't. Yeah, well, yeah. I ain't voting for his ass. That's if he's so, free. Exactly. Yeah. His ass probably be in jail. <laughs> So he he know how to finesse his way out of area. Yeah. Oh, trust him, yeah, Trump. That man's a weasel. Hey, Trump is still just as worse though. Still, that man right is an absolute bullshit. weasel. I'll tell you right now about taxes. I say it off camera. <laughs> <laughs> Some people have been getting over the system for a long time. Uh huh. Yep. And it's just come to my realization of how they talk about taxes, but not everybody is doing their fair share. Oh no, oh, no. they're only poking at certain people. Yep. yep. Making sure they pay taxes. Yep. And you're not even seeing your dollars doing you goddamn thing class. when it comes to your everyday life. Yep. So, uh-huh. anywho, man, that was a dope part, man. It was. 61, man. Yes, uh, indeed. We got in our bag in this one. The Bougie Boys. The Bougie Boys. Bougie Boys. Ross won the Bougie do, do, Award, do, do, man. So, we we'll to get you a trophy made. And, um, <laughs> get him a Bougie shirt. Oh, yeah, get you a Bougie Christmas shirt. is right around the corner. And I'm pretty hard, sure like, it's it not going to be I'm back to be back like this. What got to do with anything? Because cause Christmas is right around hey, the corner. I got Where the Bougie shirt from? already. Y'all back to back. Like the trophy going to be spi- it's gonna be Spice Adams and Gold behind the tree. Right. Rub his hands. Keys in hand. Right. Oh. Bougie boys. <laughs> Sweet dreams. I don't know where they came from. But yeah, yes, appreciate y'all, man. We love y'all, man. Episode 61 out for the books. Um, shout out to Let's Talk Feminine hey. for being in the last episode. Uh-huh. Uh, we can't end this pod without saying Thanks, hey, that I missed shout it. out to them. Burger yeah, game. Thank yep. them. Uh, I mean, it's a reason why yep. that pod went down, to the trash to me. Down, you know, <laughs> things things you know, were said at the end of that pod. <laughs> oh, things yeah. were said at the end of that pod that yep. I'm not going to bring up until we yep. see them again. Yep. Yep. So if y'all want to see Just us know, collab. You, you, you done started the fire. Yeah, oh, man. Started the it's on. I ain't been off that shit since I heard it. Yep. That was last week. Yeah, that's straight blasphemy. You want some content? All right, shit. Let us know if y'all want to know what it is, man. Keep on supporting. We love y'all. Episode 61, we out. Peace. Yes, sir.